Greetings guys, it's Irish. In this video, I thought I would finally show you guys how to set up a ZNC bouncer. For those who don't know, a ZNC bouncer is a, um, a program that allows you to stay connected to IRC or Internet Relay Chat. Now, I set this up about maybe a year or two ago, so I had to relearn everything that I did back then but if I close this out so if I quit and then go back up everything will automatically uh, go back to it so it's not like I'm completely shutting it down and then having to have someone fill me in what's going on this is one of the modules which I will show you guys uh, in a little bit but um, this is good for if you have multiple computers and you are on the IRC chat uh, as much as I am because I usually do this every night before bed I'm usually you know talking to a bunch of people so I thought I'd show you guys how to do this so if we look in the ZNC um, what it, uh, the arch wiki this is the only one that you really need so I compiled this on my Gen 2 machine here and I use the default use flags um, I could show you really fast I'm going to try not to make this a Gen 2 specific video but I'll show you guys what I have you do have to have ICU, I do have IPv6, you could do TCL, SASL, and SSL, uh, and also Python, So and some Perl, but it depends on what you do. I left everything the default, so let's clear this out. So now if we do this, this will bring... Um, Let's try this again. CNC dash dash make conf. So this will bring you to a list of different uh, options. So the first one, um, before I continue, I'm just going to show you the basics uh, of what to do with the screen here. And then I'll show you what I have uh, built into my IRC bouncer. So for the listening port you just want to make it a little bit unique I think I did something in the 4000s so we'll just say 2079 and then enter do you want to use SSL we can say yes do you want to listen on both IPv4 and IPv6 we'll just say yes probably gonna take I think I took a lot of the Okay, so since I didn't have that built in, let's try this again. 1079, yes, no. And then you can come up with a username, we'll just say Irish. And then you can do your password. And then you can choose your nick, so we'll just say Irish Mike, since uh, one of my subscribers actually calls me that. Um, and then you can say yes it will usually generate a nick with a underscore at the end so you can just keep it as thus and then you can say identity uh, CNC oh, say Mike bind host I leave it alone it's up to you though and set up uh, network we'll leave everything to default We'll say free node uh, server chat yep server SSL yes server port 6697 is fine because that's what the SSL is P password um, probably just gonna leave that empty and then you can do your channels so we'll just say Irish luck 83 and Linux distro community and then we can launch it so this will launch everything yeah it will say failed but it's fine 
So once you set everything up, it will ask you for a bunch of modules that you would want to set up. I usually leave that uh, alone until I get into the web GUI, uh, and I'll show you guys what some of those are. But once you have your username, your port, and your local address, uh, then you can go to, so you would type it in, so it would be HTTPS your IP address and then your port. So my port was 4546. Put your thing in and then your password. I'm going to say don't save. So when it comes to this, this is your login information. So you can have web admin. Uh, it'll ask if you want your web admin, but we'll say your settings. And then this will show you the confirmation. So if you forget your password or want to change your password, this is where you would do it. Uh, it you could also change a lot of the stuff that was pre-done in that um, the ZNC the make.conf file. So I did not do a bind host. My real name is prefix. So networks I did free node. So we'll show you that in a little bit. And then here are some of the modules. Now you could do auto attach which could reattach you to channels on activity. But I usually just do the chan server or the channel server. The cert which uses the SSL flood detach. So if someone forgets to put in like uh, say he's trying to share a config file and shares it all at once in the chat uh, that will cause a flood of the channel and it will detach quote unquote detach you from it and then once that's all said and done it will reattach you I could probably leave or take this out because I don't really see much of a difference when this does happen uh, and then I just say the web admin. Uh, you could see what these others do, but I actually do a lot of them inside the network itself. So we'll hit edit. Once again, you could change your your nick, and I just left the underscore here, but you could change it to really anything else that you want. And then here are my channels. So anytime that you uh, attach yourself to a channel, like join a channel, then it will show up in this section here. And then if you close it out, it will delete itself out of here. So these are all of the channels that I'm in, as you can see here. Um, and then this is where I do my modules. So I do, excuse me, I do my cert, my chance server, I do do a additional crypt. Uh, I say keep nick. So anytime uh, if I get detached somewhere, I it says keep trying for your primary nick. So it will not go to your alternate nick. It will keep your your primary. Uh, kick rejoin. So if for whatever reason. IRC's on the fritz or someone kicks you out, uh, it will reattach you to that channel. Nick server, um, which does auth 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 sorry, authenticate your nick. Um, so if you do have like voice or ops in a particular channel, it will do that. It will keep that. Uh, same thing with chance server. It actually shows you. I do sassel, which uh, is a little bit more of uh, encryption. Simple away, I probably could probably get rid of that. Now I did put this on my Raspberry Pi. So if you are going to do this, I suggest doing it on a VPS or a vi uh, virtual private server or a Raspberry Pi, whatever you can use to stay on. Um, because there's no point of putting this on like a laptop 
and then every time you load up the laptop you have to start ZNC all over again and it's like what's the point of that might as well just keep the regular uh, uh, WeChat stuff going so so that's what I have so if I say I joined um, the i3 channel which is for the i3 window manager it'll, sh it'll show up here now if we go back here and reload it you'll, s you'll see it there and then if I decide to close this out and then reload it you'll see it, it disappeared so it's quite interesting and then you can have the current modes which I'll show you one of them what it does so in here you can say save to config buffer count key I don't really do a whole lot you can detach it or auto clear uh, chan buffer so channel buffer so if I click this uh, close out of my WeChat or my ZNC for the night and then come back in I can't find out what's go what has happened since I left so I usually keep this on some of mine like uh, my channel Irish luck 83 I usually just keep that as thus so I can come back same thing with the Linux distro community so it's definitely um, awesome to have this because when I didn't I had to when I was switching between my laptop and my desktop I had to close out on my laptop so I can go into the same NIC that I was using on my desktop so this does definitely does help um, but it does show you on but you there's different ways that you can you can set an away message and everything like that, but I don't get into that. So, um, I did do this. I uh, You can start and enable the ZNC service. On my Pi, it does not work. It says it's missing a user lib for whatever reason. Same thing when I, was, when I had Arch Linux on my Pi. Um, but it would not work. I just usually start it manually by saying ZNC and it just it says it's already running on this config. So we'll just say Zkill. So to attach it to uh, WeChat, this did take me a little time, but I'll leave this in the description below. What you want to do is uh, you're going to say server add. They say BNC. I said ZNC. It doesn't make a difference. It's whatever you want to call it. Then you're going to say my bouncer. So whatever the um, the IP and then the port, um, you can do it on there. Uh, then you say your SSL fingerprint and then connect and then save it and then that's all you really need to do um, it does give you some troubleshooting here but um, yeah it did take me a while to actually get this to go I think I did follow this web page and I think I had an issue with the SSL fingerprint uh, it kept changing um, each time I tried using it but it depends on your version of WeChat so um, but yeah that's all I had um, it is definitely a very handy tool especially if you are on the IRC a lot and if you need to leave to go to work or even go to the bathroom and want to come back uh, and or you need to switch computers this is definitely a handy uh, definitely good you could attach this to IRC, which is another um, CLI or command or terminal-based IRC uh, chat or uh, program like HexChat. You can do it with HexChat, XChat, 
really anything that you can attach the IRC to, you can use the ZNC bouncer. So let me know if you guys have any questions about this. I will do my best to uh, try to help you out if you do have any um, have any issues. Um, but I think I'm going. Um, I'll try to make another video before the end of the year, but it's going to be a pretty big video. I want to try to keep it a secret, but uh, we'll, we'll see if it even happens. Um, so, yeah, guys, let me know if you have any questions or want to see something else. Uh, and if I, I'm also maybe planning on maybe doing like a, a questions and answers, a Q&A video, if you guys have any questions for me about Linux or just in general. Uh, put them down in the comments below and hopefully if there is enough stuff I will make a video on it but uh, hopefully you guys have a good holiday season if you celebrate Christmas Merry Christmas and I will catch you guys in the next video